Hi everyone, this is a quick uh, webinar tutorial showing some of the updates to Signage Live that will be released this coming Monday on the 6th of October. The majority of the updates have been made to the Customer Access Creator, also known as the Message Manager. So if we go to the Message Manager, we'll see some of the updates which have been made. The first of which is the ability to copy feeds. So if you create a feed and then need a copy of that for whatever reason, just click on Copy Feed. A little pop-up will appear asking you if you're sure if you want to create a copy of that. Click OK and then all the, uh, all the text boxes and the background image will be copied and created. However, the message manager users won't be. If we then click into a feed and then click on a text box, the first thing you'll notice is the text properties box. Uh, this has been changed so it's a lot more easy to manage. Within here, you can now sort of type in hexadecimal codes and they will change the, uh, the font text color. You can also add uh, background colors for various zones as well. So just select the zone. If you want to add like a fade on there, you can just select the, the level of fade that you want and that'll apply it to that text box. Right click on any box and then click on copy and you will create a copy of that particular zone. You can do this as many times as you like. So again, if we just right click on it, click on copy and we can just click and drag these, move them about exactly where we want them to show. Other changes that we've made, um, transparency is now supported uh, on PNGs within the message manager. So if you see these white zones here, basically what we can do is we can have video showing through the, the message manager feed that we have. So you can have two things showing alongside each other now. Another big change that we've made uh, is the rendered image of the, uh, the, the RSS creator and the message manager. The alignment on all three is now exactly the same. So where you put the text on your RSS creator, where it is on the message manager, and where it is on the final rendered image, they're all going to be exactly the same now. If I click on the background tab over here on the left hand side, we now have the ability to set a solid background color. Again, you can just choose it from the list or just type in the code that you want the background to be. Choose the level of fade that you want on that image and then that will show. And you also have the option to change a background image within here as well. So just click on the change background image button, select the, uh, the image either from your asset library or upload a new asset and you can just change the background image that would appear within any zone. If I uh, go to a feed and then go to a users on that feed, we've made a couple of changes to the feed as well. So if I click on message manager users, we've basically added a button uh, which allows you to add all the users on your network to be able to edit that feed. If you're ever creating a new feed, a new user, sorry, um, you have the option to add that user up to all the feeds as well just by ticking this box and then they'll be added to all the feeds when you create the user. Uh, next up is the asset manager. So this is where you sort of view and manage all the assets which have already been uploaded to Signage Live. Uh, the first thing that I'll mention here is if you select multiple assets and then right click on them, you can now delete all of those assets in one go. Previously you used to have to just be able to drag those to the trash, but you can right click on them and click on delete item. That also works when you're restoring assets as well. So if you're in the trash and you want to restore some assets, just select the ones that you want to, right click on it and click restore and they'll all be added back to your, your asset manager. Um, if we add all these assets to the timeline uh, and say we no longer wanted asset three, uh, and so we're going to delete that. So we're going to right click on it, click on delete item. And you'll notice down here, when I click on move to trash, the image will be removed from the playlist as well. So there we go. Um, that will basically remove the asset from all the playlists that is, that is currently in. So you don't end up with any trashed assets appearing in your playlists. If I quickly go to the trash, you'll also notice um, that I can no longer click and drag these assets down into the timeline. So another change that we've made is you can no longer add trashed assets to a timeline or a playlist. Um, in terms of the playlist creation itself, uh, we've added two features to this. Uh, the first of which is a last modified date. So you can see the last time a particular, a particular playlist has been changed over here. And then on the left hand side, we've added a recently updated smart folder. So just click on that and that will show you any of the the playlist that you've got created, which have been recently updated. Uh, if I go to the publishing section, uh, we've made a few changes here as well. 
So if I just quickly schedule a layout and select the layout that we want to show. So if I go to Sunish Live Marketing, you notice over here on the right hand side, we've added a window navigator. This basically allows you to select zones and, and schedule content for those zones over here on the right hand side rather than double clicking them on the left hand side. The reason we've added this is basically for the transparency on the RSS feeds. So if you created a layout with two, two zones overlapping each other, previously you never used to be able to select the background layout. With the window navigator, you're able to now select the background image as well as the front, the front zones that you have within the layout creator, the layout manager, sorry. Um, if I go to the settings and licenses page, you'll notice we've added site names to all of here and these as well. So you can see the numbers, the player seals, you've also got the site names, so it makes the, uh, the licenses a lot easier to manage from the licensing page. Previously, you'd have to go into a network and manage to view all of this. So you can just click on any particular license. So if I just go to that license, we'll be able to see, you can just see what exactly we want to do, it, deactivate it, whatever. Um, a few other changes uh, which we've made here. Um, if you ever trash your player now, um, the license will automatically be deactivated. So that means you have you wouldn't ever have active licenses, which are active players which are in the trash. And you can also manually set resolutions of players uh, in the system tab. Again, the reason we've added that is for um, idea devices. Um, we don't always get the, the resolution of those screens um, automatically, so that can be set manually now. Uh, there are a lot of other sort of bug fixes and features that we've made. Uh, if you want to view the full release notes, just go to support.signagelive.com. If you have any questions about anything uh, included in this release, just send an email to support.signagelive.com, support at signagelive.com, sorry, and we'll happily answer any questions that you have. Thank you very much, guys.